Uh, it's going really well. You've uh, it's come a long way since uh, you saw it last time, I guess. And, uh, I, think, I think before it was all just sort of a bunch of bits of metal not really joined together. Okay, I'll start at the back here, which is uh, the gearbox, which I think was a, a whole bunch of parts last time uh, you guys filmed it. I was going to fly. Oh yeah. I mean, I believed it at first, and then I then I was a bit uh, apprehensive in the middle. Uh, now that it's all coming together, as you've seen, I'm, I'm dead keen that it's going gonna, it's gonna to fly. Fingers crossed when we build the envelope there. Yeah, basically we've got the, uh, the chain here, which goes, connects to the front there, where uh, the guy's pedalling. Okay, this is, uh, the chain will turn here, like this, and uh, I don't know if you can see that moving there, but that's where our propeller will attach. Uh, well, this is going to be the rudder. It's about 36 square feet of control surface for us to move the airship on. Uh, it's made out of two wooden ribs at the top and bottom and four styrofoam ones with aluminium tubes going the length of it to keep it together. There'll be a ripstop nylon skin put over it as well uh, with wire tensioners going from the corners to keep it together, basically. It's big. <laughs> Uh, some people have said it's too big, some people have said it's not big enough, but we think it's just right. <laughs> well, its role is to steer the ship. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world if we don't turn around as long as we can come down again. But it would be nice to be able to do, a, do an arc. I think the, the, the idea is to do a, a circle in the region of 20 metre radius. Okay, this is, uh, this is moving like this from the vertical position to the horizontal so that we can, uh, we can vector the thrust which means uh, we can change the angle that the force is acting through. So at the moment, the, uh, the propeller is spinning horizontally across here, which means that we've got a force pushing the whole airship upwards, and that's, uh, that's how we'll take off. And then uh, once we're in the air, we can move, uh, rotate this to here, and now the propeller will be rotating in the vertical plane. So I'll push you forwards. Oh, it's the best project I've ever done here or anywhere. <laughs> this is uh, it's a lovely cowhide heat seat here. Uh, taken off my sofa and it's really comfortable. This is, uh, this is a carbon fiber seat, uh, which was given to us by our tutor, Janet folks. And uh, it really is really, really comfortable sitting in here. If you, uh, if you sort of lie back and put your feet up here, it's like lying in a hammock. Well, last year I had a project that was just research-based, and that just isn't me. I like practical, hands-on sort of stuff, as you can probably see. Uh, and this is just, that's what it is. It's been like that every day, all day. And yeah, lectures have suffered a little bit, but... <laughs> this, was, uh, this was welded on this morning. This is the, the bottom bracket from Giant. And uh, this is, yeah, the, the pedals. I think you get a pretty good idea now of how you sort of sit in it, pedal, throughout the, uh, the motions transferred to the back, the propellers at the back. Uh, and then obviously you've got the, the balloon above you. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I like that though. I mean, as soon as we saw it on the list of projects, we were like, yeah, that's the one. That's the one we're going to do. I've asked everyone who's going to be the first to fly it. Not me. <laughs> I have shotgun second. I saw the other video. They were saying there was some debate. There's no debate. I am second. <laughs> but you don't want to be first? No way. <laughs> Why don't you want to be first? Because it might crash. <laughs> There's a possibility, slim as it might be, but it might crash. <laughs> 